That is so grim. This is something you won't see every day. Oh my god. They're just quick. That's now, the issue. Why you won't. Now, I'm just going to put this in and just stretch a little. Feel funny. Just let me know if it hurts. It shouldn't hurt. It's just like a maggot anyway, isn't it? Mm-hmm. You are. How big do they feel under the skin? It's quite a cavity, isn't mm. it? Yeah. Is that sore when I do that? Not particularly. It's a bigger hole than I was expecting it for. Yeah. yeah. The, those two are the biggest holes, I think, in my neck. No, I'm okay, thanks. I just want to, I don't want it to slip. I don't know how good these forceps are. It's a big one. Okay. Can I say? Oh, oh my god. god. Yeah. What a man. Yeah. He's quite yeah. sad there. A little bit. It is most of it. It's fine. It looks like a shooter, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, they're quick. That's the issue I had when I was trying to do it on my own. I couldn't squeeze, pull. What did I know you got one out at all? No. The ones no. I got out by myself were out more than this. They were literally halfway out. It was easy. Annoyingly so. Here we go. Yeah. Keep watching. Ouch. Sorry. It's alright. No, no, it's not hurting, don't worry. Do whatever you need. They're real punched out holes, aren't they? They're immaculate holes. Like a pinhole. Like a bullet hole in a pinhole. There they go, because they're in a it's quite a big hole in there, isn't it? Mm. So, no. 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 These. Like, I'll use eyebrow trees, tweezers. These aren't out as much as the ones were at the airport. These tweezers the the have got like teeth on them at the end. Yeah, Dad, you don't want to pull too much in case it ruptures. It's 
did actually do it. Good girl, well done, Anna. Very well. You are a star. You are the bear grillis of the female world. <laughs> <laughs> you really are. <laughs> oh, weird. <laughs> That's the third one. <laughs> is there a way to tell if there's more than one in a hole? Only if it, yeah. Just have to wait and see, I think. Well, I'm going to be looking at that other one and see anything move. I'm going to be tapping the machete. This is nice, I'm going to get to this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dear me. I'm just going to deal with the roof. Please don't, it's a real mess. It's fantastic. Oh my god, there's doors hanging off and all sorts. I think you could add this to your CV, mate. Yeah. Definitely. Tropical disease. This is definitely experience in tropical disease. I'd say take these fishing with you, Dad. It's biting down. No, it's not, it's not as head yet. Those little black bits are like spines. I'm going to have nightmares about this tonight. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Good Lord. Should only be one left. It's a good job you've been having those antibiotics, I think, isn't it? Well, they released their own antibiotics, yeah. so the antibiotics they, themselves it, it probably haven't done a huge amount. You don't get complicated, well, you don't really get... Infections. Problems. Yeah, you don't get infections. It's just scars when, when yeah. they come out. Because there's quite a big hole underneath there, so that's going to be the only issue that it's probably not going to heal that great. What we'll do is right? we'll flush the hole out, and we'll get some saline. Have you got yeah. any saline around? We'll yeah, it could do with all getting cleaned up. I'll go and, get, I'll go and have a look. Um, To be honest, you can probably get some from the chemist, can't I? Think I think we've got some, we've got some, we've got some. Have we? Yeah, I think we've got stuff in there. So you need a tube of satellite per hole. Good. Yeah, never again. <laughs> There's a one in 14 million chance. Tora Molinos for you. Is that what they say? <laughs> yeah, one in 14 million, and I got seven. It's probably slightly more dangerous, Tora Molinos. <laughs> well, yeah, different type of bite, though. Yes. Yeah. And do you think you've got all of the holes at the same time? Do you think yes, no, they definitely all appeared on the same Were they that large, the ones you pulled out? Yeah, slightly smaller. Look at them, wriggling. Still going. Mm -hmm. that. Well, that one's crawled right across there. Well, though. I don't want these massive. And this one in the middle. I'm going to microwave I'd say, I wonder if you could um, preserve uh, them. Keep them. Just dry, them. Kill them, dry them. You can keep them then. I'm sure to you. Of course. Because what if they can dehydrate or rehydrate and come alive again? <laughs> They're not going to take any risks. I was considering contacting like someone and seeing if they wanted to do. I read an article about a guy who had them. And he contacted like a uni or something mm. and said, I'm willing to keep them on my arm if you want to do research. Obviously, I wouldn't say that, but yeah. if someone wanted to practice or do research in them or something. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, God, so nice. I just thought your arm was really sore. Yeah. It was sore at times. It looks like it should be horrifically sore. Fully alive still, I mean, yes. Great six things, aren't they? Well done, Guy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.